Here is another poisonous plant, dog's mercury. Dog's mercury is a type of plant that is found quite widely in multiple areas of Europe and Asia. It prefers more shady, wooded areas and is often found kind of growing on the forest floor or under any large canopies of trees. It is a decently common plant and it is considered to be highly toxic. As far as I'm aware, all parts of the plant are poisonous and there's a whole cocktail of different toxins that are found in it. The most common toxins found in this plant are methylamine and trimethylamine, as well as the compound mercuriolene and various saponins, which are also the compounds that are responsible for making soap. At least in the plant soapwort, another type of mildly toxic plant. However, the dog's mercury is quite a bit more than mildly toxic. Symptoms start out as mainly gastrointestinal with kind of nausea and vomiting, as well as inflammation of the kind of jaw area, as well as kidney inflammation. It causes kidney problems as well as causing the urine to be even more acidic than normal, which causes painful urination. It also causes kind of drowsiness, lethargy, and in severe cases, coma and death. Now, as far as I'm aware, the only actual deaths caused by a dog's mercury have been in other animals instead of humans, largely livestock like sheep, as well as occasionally in dogs. However, there have been a couple cases of human poisoning via dog's mercury. That's mostly been due to mistaken identity, where people foraging mistake dog's mercury for a different edible plant, such as brook lime. However, as far as I'm aware, all of these cases were kind of treated properly and there were no lasting effects or deaths from this plant. Cases of human poisoning by dog's mercury are quite rare because it's a pretty unappetizing plant in general. It doesn't look like it would be edible and also kind of smells very bad, apparently due to the trimethylamine, which does produce a smell very similar to rotting fish. So not something that you would really want to eat either way.